Bell. Going to the movies on Boxing Day has become as much of a tradition in Australia as risking life and limb at the doorbuster sales. And director Peter Jackson has been responsible for some of the most anticipated Boxing Day films. First with the Lord of the Rings trilogy, then King Kong, and last year with part one of The Hobbit. I'm going on an adventure! Now comes part two of the trilogy. It continues the story of Bilbo Baggins, who, along with a group of dwarves and some familiar faces, continue on their quest to reclaim their home and defeat a dragon in The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Or is that Smaug? Let's talk about Smaug. Am I saying That's that right? I, I, I feel I like I hear different versions of that name. What's I, the proper way to hear I've you been say saying it. Smaug, so Smaug. maybe then I'll never have to say my own name. I am king under the mountain. In all honesty, you know, I said to Pisa when he offered me the job, I said, I'd love to do this, but I really want to do some motion capture. He went, why? I went, well, because I want to. <laughs> but, you know, it was just to get an idea and then try and play that into this mythical creature who speaks English. We've been blind, and in our blindness, our enemy has returned. I've been so pleased to become friends with Ian, you know, with McKellen. I think that's that's been a real pleasure for me, uh, to work with him, with someone I admire. There's a reason this guy is adored, because he's really, really good. You've changed, Wilbur Baggins. You're not the same hobbit as the one left the Shire. There's really no sex involved. James yeah. Bond, there's sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Iron Man, there's sex. Yeah. But there isn't no here. Most. What is that? I don't know. There was no sex from Tolkien's books, so... There's not a lot of women, too, There's so. not a lot of women, <laughs> but there's not even any gay sex. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, you don't need women. Ask a prison. Also, it's not just, a, you know, you'll see that screen time is shared between a lot of people, you know. Um, but it should never, ever, ever be forgotten that it's called The <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> and you're speaking to him now. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is one woman. Lost star Evangeline Lilly plays a character especially for the film, the elfin Tauriel, who's mean with a bow and arrow. When did we let evil become stronger than us? Jennifer Lawrence, she also wields a bow and arrow. How do you think your skills would stack up to her? Are you talking about Katniss and Tauriel, or are you talking about Evangeline and Jennifer? Give me both, give me both. Okay. Katniss and Tauriel, hands down ta Tauriel. She's an elf, She's, I mean, elf against human, there's no competition. The elf always will win. Jennifer and Evangeline, um, you know, she is over a decade younger than me, so I'm just gonna just give it to her. I'm just gonna say she might have a little more energy than I do. <laughs> You were recently voted the sexiest film star amongst film oh, fans. What can you do? Is, is that awkward yeah. on set when, when you really know awkward, you're better looking? What, yeah. With, yeah than you're right. everybody else you're that right. you're with? Yeah, when they don't acknowledge it, it's really, really f***ing hard work. Like Martin Freeman going, it doesn't, I don't see it. I'm like, come on, dude, look, look.